What up, folks? It's your boy Cooper Matching here. This video is pretty much um, not going to be much editing or anything, but just basically going to recap of what happened today at the Super Pre release. Today is my Super Pre release over at Game Theory in Wasilla, Alaska. Uh, great card shop, great, awesome people there. Had a great time there overall. We're there with my wife. Um, I played the course green deck. Um, she played the red Luffy deck. Um, like I said, overall can't complain. Um, everybody there was helpful. Everybody was nice. Um, in terms of the games, um, what happened was we had an over amount of people. So they did a, um, 16 person, uh, tournament instead of an eight, um, threw us off a little bit, but you know what it is what it is. You know, when you got a lot of people signing up, want to play. It is what it is, but they did do it where, where the rules came out to where the first people who originally signed up, the first eight are the ones who got the promo cards um, when they came in. But um, the tournament went great. Um, what sucks is, you know, you never really wanted to happen, but me and my wife got, you know, uh, we got basically sorted to go against each other first round. Uh, so that wasn't fun having to go against my wife right away. I was expecting it to maybe go against her later, but to go against her right away was just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, had some good games. I won overall. Uh, my game two was going against the Kaido deck. A uh, good, great Kaido player. Um, didn't really, I just basically did, anytime I play Kaido is just bring aggressive aggro because i know come later rounds when they he has he has enough he or she has enough done kaido gets stupid so i had to drop the the aggro on that kaido player i'm sorry i think first game i had dropped aggro so much i had i think most of his life was gone now i had only maybe lost maybe one life and he just scooped because of, i still had so much life um, then the next game was a pretty good game, and uh, I won that as well. Um, my next game, so my first game was Red against my wife. Second was Kaido. And then my third game was against, uh, was in a, you know, also the, the next undefeated player. Um, and he was using a Red deck, but he used the Red deck to the max. Asher, man, I'm talking about you, man. Uh, he used the Red deck probably the best you can possibly use it. And at least I'm, as far as I'm concerned, because uh, that's the best. I mean, a second two, of course, my wife gets pretty good at the red deck, but now um, that was the first game was pretty much, um, I just could not stop the, 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 the rush from the red deck. Of course, the, 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 the Name setup with the, the Sanjay, Sanji, and then of course the leader ability of Luffy, um, just, just a lot of arrested freaking Don being thrown back and forth. Of course, Jinbei coming out, that don't help either. Of course, the dad going thousand sunny pumping a thousand power, and it's just like, all right, enough, please, stop it. <laughs> um, so that was a pretty cool matchup. Um, he he too owed me. Uh, so there goes my chance of winning up winning Luffy. When Luffy's gone, I'm, I'm like, oh great. So then I had one more match um, against a another red deck, and that red deck player was very well balanced. Uh, didn't get his name cool guy uh but another red deck he was very good red deck not as good as asher but definitely very good like had i slipped up he probably would have caught me a couple times but i was definitely on my top of my game at that point plus i was frustrated because i know i just lost the chance to get the winner luffy you know what i mean so um i won that game so i only lost once but not enough to get that freaking winner luffy so it is what it is so shout out to all the folks that was able to get one but there's another thing i like to point out um, there was a couple times where, you know, of course in this setting, not a lot of people have been able to play online. Like I have been able to, cause some of these people came into this tournament still new. Like, so, um, there was a couple things that even some players, Ken, I know you want me to shout out, shout out to Ken, one of my buddies over here in, uh, Anchorage, also military. Uh, he wanted me to shout out, uh, not shout out. He wanted me to basically talk about some of the rulings. There were some rulings that was basically uh, not done right. Like for example, no, whenever you, the first turn of each player, you cannot attack. I'm gonna place somewhere here, basically the ruling that says that 
Um, I'm also going to place the link to the official rule book where you can see it yourself as well. Um, where I show it here on the screen that shows the first turn for each player you cannot attack. So the first turn player can no not draw a card, they cannot attack, and they only get one Don. Second player gets their two Don, um, and they can uh, draw a card, but they also cannot attack. Um, so there's no attacking within the first two turns, period. Um, a lot of people were attacking and they're expecting it. That another thing is too, there was a situation where ruling where um, Name, where there was wondering if you, you when you use Name's ability, does she rest? And I told him no, she doesn't rest unless the card specifically says it. For example, just like it says one per turn on, on once per turn on on Name. And it says activate on your main on the leader as well. So when you use a leader ability, you don't. When you use your leader ability, you do not rest him. Do you? No, you don't. You don't. You just use Luffy's leader ability and then you give it the rest of Don to someone, to another character or, you know, but then of course you attack with him later. So unless the card. It specifically says rest the card or you're attacking or blocking, you know, that's when you rest. For example, you know, with Bonnie, you, when you use her one cost, it literally says on her card, 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 <laughs> rest her. I'm sorry, I'm tired. It's late. We had a long, long day, got the text. Anyway, <laughs> when you tap her, Bonnie, it says literally on her card to rest her. So no, you do not rest. Um, Whatever, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Some other stuff that I also saw was the situation where people were um, just just doing, you know, all of the mistakes people were making were mistakes that people are new to the game and they're coming from various different of a card game. So when you come from different card games, your first natural reaction is to immediately want to try to find those similarities or those same common kind of things that oh oh this is like my digimon or or this is like uh magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or hearthstone is this like hearthstone like is this my cost like no that's your cost oh so that stuff is comes naturally um again this all should be always be a judge around there was me i got play acts plenty of times hey, hey you know koopa or nate you know what's what's this ruling on this because you know again i'm not an expert but i have been playing enough to know certain things like certain things like um, I definitely know off the bat, but as I said, um, there was a couple rulings on a couple of things. I'm going to make another video for the limited battles and I'm going to make another video to break down each deck because I was also asked to break down each deck to kind of give like some idea of a combo pieces. A lot of you guys and gals have already been playing in the scores. You kind of already know these things, but there are still people that don't know them. Like, and I, and I think a lot of you, like a, a part of me was like, I guess because I've been hanging around with so many people that, that do know. When I went to the shop and played and with some of the new players, it kind of surprised me. Like it kind of, it kind of brought to light to me, kind of reminded me, like, yo, like you've been playing with some people that know play, but there's still a lot of new people that just don't know. Like, and that's why it shouldn't surprise me. So um, I'm, yeah, I don't have no issue whatsoever making videos on things that I think are combos. Again, there's some combos that are like automatically known in the, in the in the world so far in tcg one piece and there's something that maybe i th i could think of but regardless of anything my subscribers asked for it so i'm going to do it so again this was just a quick video to recap what happened at the super pre-release for me again i did really good but i didn't get enough to win i did i was able to get of course i got the red from my wife she got the red and i got the green and but i was since i signed up early in the shop i was able to get sealed of the blue deck and sealed the chorus of the purple kaido um i do want one extra green um kid deck for the limited battles which i'm going to make another video for i was actually going to mix it in this video but because th the more and more i was collecting data collecting images and pictures i realized that wait i actually need to do a whole separate video on limited battles super important and super time limited make sure you watch that video um, as soon as it goes up because there's super limited time 
information in that video. So that's why I have to make it as soon as possible. It is late right now. So I'm literally going to make that video tomorrow to immediately be able to drop for you guys um, probably on Monday morning or sometime Monday. Cause I'm gonna make the video, edit it, let it process on Sunday. Um, and then probably late Sunday it'll probably be done. So yeah, yeah folks. But again, the battles was awesome. Great event. Like I said, I got I got my two sealed purple and purple. So I got my set, but I did want one extra green. So anybody got extra green out there, let me know. And I'll shoot you some berries and uh, so pay for that. And uh, oh, I need another green uh, or at least the supers in the green. Um, anyway, folks, but uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, this was just a, a big update on how my event experience went. It was cool. But and I, I hate that um, I didn't get it, man. I didn't get that uh, that loop. It would have been so cool to sit here on video and kind of show you guys. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't do bad. So it is what it is. Shout out down below how you did in your super pre-release or any information you might have that might help others, of course, as always. But take care. Have a good one. Peace. Google magic on Twitch. Google magic. YouTube, Google magic.